Alright guys, how's it going? So this is my review for the Quick Toolbox for Blender 2.8. It's a commercial plugin by B-Man. It's available for $2 on Gumroad. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now, just to kind of give a brief summary, if you've ever used ZBrush and you press the B button to bring up the toolbox, it kind of replicates something very similar. It works in sculpting mode, it works in weight paint mode, I believe, it works in edit mode, and it's only $2 by the time you add in tax, it's $2.40, and it's pretty much worth every single cent. Now, there's two reasons why I personally bought this. I like buying add-ons, <laughs> who doesn't? But I actually watched the developer on the Blender Artist Forum, and he seems to be very active. He's taking feedback very well, he's taking criticism very well, and people are making requests, and he basically turns around and says, yeah, that's a good idea, I'll try and implement that as fast as I possibly can. That's quite a jump into Blender, and I'm in sculpting mode, and all I need to do is press the B key. And you can see here, it brings up a menu. Now, I'm not entirely sure why these are blank, I don't know if it's a config issue with my computer, or maybe I need to assign them. I've not read the documents, and that's one thing that I'll probably critique a little bit. The documents are a little bit mm, non-existent, yeah, yeah, non-existent. There's a kind of brief description on the page, but to be honest, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to kind of work this out. So another thing that I'll pick up on is when you go to download the file, it just says something like quicktools.py. There's no version number, and I would like to see version numbers and kind of change logs, things like that. Now, to be honest, on the grand scale of life, does it really matter? Probably not. But you can see here, when I press the B key, I basically get all my shortcuts and I get all my tools right at my fingertips. Now you can favourite these, and this is one of the things that I really need to check out. I need to figure out where the favourites go. Now the developer is making changes to this, and he's is adding things and making it a little bit more clearer. And that's pretty much the basics of the add-on. There's no real magic here. It brings up a menu for you. And now if I go to all, I can take the favourites off, and I can also play around with the settings, for example. I can change the number of columns, so I could probably move, move this to 10. Why you would do that, I'm not entirely sure. But the option is there for you to kind of tweak it. Now, the great thing about this is it also works in different modes. So I'll quickly jump into weight paint mode here. I'll press B again, and it brings up the weight painting tools. And this is excellent, especially if you're jumping into edit mode and you forget. Just hit the B key. Now, there's an argument that could be made that you're not learning shortcut keys, but to be honest, sometimes your brain just doesn't work and you just want to grab something and go. Now, you can also right-click on these, assign shortcuts, add to quick favourites as well. So, it's valued at $2, and it's an absolute steal at that price, to be honest. And hopefully, the developer can evolve it over time as well. And that's pretty much it. It's completely up to you whether you buy it or not. I'm not sponsored, I don't get paid for this, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do.